Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac, the Devil's Harvest. We're going to play as Gollum today. He starts with a rock. Uh, I'll explain what the rock does shortly. This guy's a cool character. C it is S Z G A E A X C. We'll go to the curse room first. Gave us a spirit heart, so we basically broke even. That's not really beneficial for us uh, whatsoever, but oh well. At least we took the time to discover that it was useless instead of not knowing. There could have been three guppy items in there. You will never know. Or it could have been some weird secret Devil's Harvest cult stuff. You have no idea. I mean, you do now because we went into it. But you never knew beforehand. I would appreciate it if I didn't take any damage in this room. Yeah, you're about to blow, aren't you? Alright, cool. Let's go. Um, so what does the rock do? And we ain't talking about Dwayne The Rock Johnson here, even though I would love to have a great discussion with him. Uh, we, instead, are looking at a two-charge item that gives us rock trinkets, kind of. It's like this character only gets rock trinkets, so we got Igneous Rock. This means that whenever we pop uh, the rock now, it's going to give us something based on what our trinket is. So I suppose Igneous Rock means that we get bombs uh by popping it that seems really good honestly uh we'll continue to test this and pop it the next time we get a charge on it but if this means that we can literally get uh a bomb every two rooms we're gonna be sitting pretty in terms of our bomb economy on this run our bomb economy but we'll test this uh maybe it'll just give random consumables but it makes sense you know, Igneous Rock from a Volcano. Yeah, this is definitely just going to give us bombs. Uh, I am more than okay with that, to be honest with you. That's not our secret room. Fun fact. Who knew? But let's continue on here. There are a lot of trinkets that this guy can get. A lot of different rock trinkets. Uh, so we will be testing a lot of them throughout the run. And seeing exactly which ones we like the best. But I'm already liking Igneous Rock. Uh, the ability to just spawn bombs out of nowhere is super valuable and i don't feel bad using them for uh combat because we're going to be getting so many of them so i think this is super good uh we have an item room to go to what do you want from the item room here don't really know uh not this i'd say basically anything that isn't a spacebar item because we're going to want to use uh rock boy here for the entire run i think just because it's a novel item it's this guy's uh bread and butter item here we want to utilize it to the most of its abilities i do realize i just took one of the poison coins when i really shouldn't have do you think i know where the super secret room is is that even a question of course i know where the super secret room is the super secret room is not there i don't know where the super secret room is so never mind pretend i don't exist even though that's probably what most of you do to begin with We'll fight Monstro. Monstro's not a problem. At least he shouldn't be. If he becomes a problem, that means that uh, I probably had a stroke at the keyboard or something. We're hoping for uh, tears upgrade or damage upgrade or syringe from this guy. I really would not mind something like uh, PJs or something like that as well. You know, Magic Mush, Halo. Uh, this guy can take red HP, I'm pretty sure. So we don't really have to worry about only getting soul hearts for the entire run but uh i wouldn't mind why why we have chaos does is this guy automatically have chaos or something that is some funky stuff i have no idea why we got a mom item from unless the boss pools are different in this mod i did not think they were uh but the more you know i suppose well we won't be taking it it's honestly like probably the worst item we could have gotten from uh that boss fight but i'm at least intrigued for the future now so it's done that for me what is this card the chariot we can get into that cursed room for only one uh heart one half heart there are some benefits there uh two keys gives us a spirit heart don't think that's worth it the majority of the time so we won't be doing that hopefully we get a good item from our item room i'm still looking for i mean honestly just a tear effect at this point has value. Butterbean does not. Oh, soybean. Okay. Does it actually do nothing? Okay. 
That that's that's disappointing. I was expecting something uh, much different here. Throw down a bomb. Take care of some of these guys. I'm going to utilize bombs as much as we can. There's no reason for us not to, in all honesty. We are going to throw down a bomb there. Oh, you can spawn troll bombs. Okay. Probably should have realized that. I'm excited. It's horrible. Uh, actually, a terrible, terrible item. Terrible pill, I suppose, is what I meant to say there. Uh, everything in here is going to be significantly faster. Uh, but that actually does not matter for us damn near at all. So that's good. Battery charge. Might as well give me a bomb. Thank you, dear. And, uh, I mean, what else is the plan here? I suppose we try to get one last, uh, spirit heart before we go and fight the boss. I suppose now we need more than, uh, that one spirit heart before we go fight the boss. But I would really like the ability to take a deal with the devil on this floor. So if we can make this happen, that'd be beautiful. I don't think it's going to happen. I think we're going to end up not being able to take one, or we're going to be putting ourselves in a real sketchy HP situation. There is a tinted rock right here, though. Oh, you've done it. Don't hit me, though. Do not hit me. You're not allowed to hit me. I said no. We can now take a deal with the devil. Much to my own uh, chagrin. Why in the world did that cyanide? There is a countdown on us. Does this mean that I have to, like leave the floor before this is over can i beat this boss in two minutes i mean yeah i would totally honestly i'm gonna not even take my chances we get tammy's head what in the world i don't want spacebar items though spider butt what in the world we're not gonna take that uh what is this health way down it got rid of the timer but it did bring down our health i did second floor of the run and i'm already confused uh I'll take the card. The Chalix. May you attain power. Did that just give me Godhead? What in the world? I think it may have given me Godhead for that room. That's really good. Let's head down. Uh, that floor was about as disappointing as one floor can be in Isaac. Everything is terrible as our curse as well. Doesn't really bode well for us, I don't think. But uh, I'm sure we'll make our way through this here so far this room is not overly terrible it's just a normal room what do you want to bet i take like a full heart of damage from uh enemies on this floor that's a new rock bloody rock that must have hurt it gave us a damage up just by holding it so i'm going to accept that and be very happy with it and here we get more money Money's the spice of life so far in devil's harvest because uh shops are usually pretty good for you and small rock is dope here. So we're slowly bringing the... Why are there actually so many of these guys in here? <laughs> is there always this many of these guys? Holy hell. There's so many. Maybe that's what everything is terrible does? It doubles the enemies in the room? If so, that that is pretty terrible. I'm not going to deny it did seem like there were a larger majority of uh, people in that first room as well. I don't know. We'll, be, we'll have to keep an our eye out here uh, as this floor goes on of whether or not this might be a thing. I would love to figure this out, though, uh, just because I enjoy... Yeah, no, this is definitely it. It's spawning more enemies that are normally in the room. And in small rooms, that really does make this hard. I can't deny so, so far, uh, the game has given us a curse that sucks, an item that sucks, uh, a deal with the devil that sucks, and two boss items that suck. So, I really do appreciate the absolute skill that is needed to complete this run. It's going to be a freaking goddamn miracle if I make it to mom. So, that's good. Uh, if you want to give me, like, passives sometime on this run, though, instead of giving me, like, literally a crap load of, uh, spacebar items for every single occasion on this run, that would be awesome. I wonder if it's our... Tr Why is the floor gone? Uh, I, I wonder if it's our trinkets that are doing this? No, it's definitely not, because we just got piggy bank to spawn right here. So, we'll ignore that. Uh, the soul is really good. You can't not take that. We do have okay stats for being in a crappy situation. We basically already have chaos, so I have no desire to even pick it up. 
what's the point? And then at this point, just go find the boss. So there's your point, if you really wanted one. I have a feeling you realized I was being facetious, though, and didn't actually care about a point here. These guys splitting into 900 flies get super frustrating, but I still actually really like them as an enemy. I think they're unique, uh, and it's something that I could see joining the real game, even though it probably never will. And I say real game as in Afterbirth Plus in a booster or something. Not just, uh, situation with... Everything is terrible sucks, but not just, uh, situation where it's something something. I don't remember what I'm saying. Uh, I'm getting mind flooded by too many enemies in these damn rooms. Plus, these are not fun enemies to do. Flooded, flooded caves is not a good time to get crappy, uh, stuff on us. We're gonna save this money. There's no reason for us to buy chaos, and I stand by that. Uh, it seems like we already freaking have chaos. God knows this run is chaotic. Uh, we don't even need the chaos item in order to make this chaotic. These rooms also really suck, and I'm just gonna get out of them. I know that that's kind of like, ooh, Tyler's a little baby, he's bombing his way out of rooms, but we do have infinite bombs. We are on a floor that has a curse called Everything is Terrible. You'd think that'd be a pretty decent sign that maybe everything is terrible. What do you think? Super secret room? Nope. Secret room? Nope. Uh... Secret room may have been back there, and honestly, like, with our slow speed... Never mind, secret room is actually totally right here. With our slow speed, uh, backtracking anywhere on this floor is just not really something that's a priority of mine. I would love a speed upgrade, like, literally any time on this run. I don't really want to ask for you to give me the belt as my, uh, boss item, but if you can give me the belt as my boss item, I wouldn't necessarily be mad at you. I would just be a little disappointed is all. Gertie Jr. I mean, you're annoying in every way, but we did take care of you, like, really? Oh, you freaking hit me at the end. But we had you for a second, you can't deny that. So beautiful, uh, we get Magic Mush, that makes up for pretty much everything you've done to me, and then I have no idea what Holy Cross is, but we're taking it. Sacred Mantle, Godly Shield. We are also gonna fight the angels because I'm stupid as hell. We got tons of bombs, dude. We can bomb our way through these guys, right? It's going to be very hard to win this fight, uh, but this is what I get for getting Magic Mush, and then an awesome, uh, we actually, like, did not take damage right there. Twice, I think? This, okay, we're not taking damage at all. Do we just not take damage anymore? We, we literally are not getting hit by this guy. I'm going to intentionally try to harm myself. Harm me. Okay, we got hurt right there. It was, like, five hits of Holy Mantle. Did we actually just, like, break the game by doing this? Is this item just that superior to everything else? Is it possible for us to lose? These are all questions that I don't have answers to, and I would like answers to. I mean, can you hit me? Everything just won't even come near me right now. I am the invincible. They won't even touch me. They will literally just go away from me. What in the world? What did we pick up? They're not harming me. Yeah, try to hit me. I dare you. Okay, he actually hit me. We're still gonna try to play smart here, but I'm also kind of like, what in the world? We've made it. Oh no, Confuddle is horrible. Uh, come in here though. I would like to kill this spider, although I literally have zero control over my body right now. I would have loved a key so that we could open up that chest, but what are you going to do? We need keys for a lot of stuff right now. I honestly should wait for Confuddled to wear off, but I'm not going to because I am dumb and lazy and enjoy a challenge. Okay, we are officially back into non-Confuddled range. There's our key that I so desire. We will go in here because we have the ability to right now and in here is three red chests give me a guppy item no guppy item though that's a little disappointing now we have to fight two bosses i really didn't think this one through 
There's, there's a decent chance we die here, although I am feeling, like, pretty much invincible with, uh, Sacred Mantle. I do want to kind of look up what it does, actually, just so that we know for sure what's going on. We did get hit, but we didn't exactly lose, uh, Holy Mantle, I don't think. I don't know how this item works. So, it beats me. What in the world? People are slamming on doors outside. I don't know if they need me, or if they need somebody else. We'll see if they need me shortly. Okay. Well, this is done. Uh, health way down. I'm gonna pass on killing myself right now. That seems definitely not like the right thing to do. They're still pounding on that door right now. It is not my door, though. I have noticed this now. Please allow me to get this stuff. Thank you very much. We do have two keys now. Uh, I am going to go back to the item room. I think that's fairly obvious. Give me an awesome item. Bucket of lard. Well, if our speed's going to go down, we might as well bring it down uh, voluntarily. And then we'll crack into this. Get more bombs keys back. Uh, get some spiders. I mean, it's hard for me to feel like there's any chance we die on this run, but I also, like, know that I can get screwed over really quickly by Isaac, so I don't necessarily feel confident about uh, our situation, even though I feel very confident about our situation. It's a very odd situation to be in. I'm confident, but I'm also, like, scared as hell for this run, because I feel like if people see that I can just get hit 900 times and still survive if i manage to botch this one up and die people are gonna be like tyler that's actually horrible though but so far uh so good i would love a deal with the devil on this floor although honestly give me another angel deal sign me up uh if they're gonna be as good as what we got there then sure i don't even know what getting uh holy mantle and sacred mantle would do but it's now something that I want. Maybe we can get the mantle transformation. We just turn into a fireplace. But it uh, beats me. We will basically just walk over here because who cares? I mean, I care because it's going to ruin my deal with the devil chance shortly, but I also don't care. I wonder if we get a holy mantle charge for each room that we don't take damage on. Although that doesn't make any sense because I think we got hit twice on this room. I don't know, maybe we'll look it up uh, and see shortly what this situation actually is. After this boss fight, we'll do it. Because we know the boss is going to be right here. We are also moving, like, very slow on this one. Why is that? Our damage is fine. I mean, our speed is really bad. We get a damage up pill. That's pretty dope. Uh, that's now in the rotation. If you want to give me Verp or something, uh, and then also Placebo, that would be fun. We did get Deep Pockets, which is not necessarily a bad item. It is pretty good, uh, but it also really does not super benefit us immediately right now when we don't have a lot of uh, cards and pills, etc., etc., to hold on to. We get random HP out of nowhere. I'm okay with that. Full Eternal Hearts never hurt anybody. Uh, and then if you want to drop a golden chest, I suppose, that'd be cool. Awesome. Uh, and then you dropped another golden chest. I appreciate your, uh, funny joke here. But I would also appreciate it if you screwed off, because that is unkind of you. Lay on hands. Well, I laid on my hands and I got speedy rock, which is a speed upgrade. Do we need the bombs anymore? I don't think so, honestly. So I'm okay taking speedy rock if it means we got ourselves a nice little speed upgrade. And in case you didn't notice, that is exactly what we got. So I'm pretty happy with this situation. Please give me a deal with the somebody. I don't even care who. We didn't, but we did get Jesus Juice, which is okay. Let's head down. Uh, unless we get an XL floor here, which we did not. We do have a weird blue orb. Hello? Golem's orb, lost and found. It gave me a shot speed upgrade, a speed upgrade, and also a luck upgrade. I don't know why. Maybe we'll look up what this does, too. I said I'd look up these items. I'm actually really lazy. So, if I find the motivation to do so, then we'll do it. But for right now, uh, I'm going to pass. I do love the 
artwork for the lab man i know i keep on repeating that i think in like every video i've done so far but the artwork really is like phenomenal in here it just has that spooky creepy vibe to it that i like in isaac i also love the brain and jar enemies they are cool as well uh that is not worth it so we will not be doing that i, I don't think popping rock actually does anything for us right now because we just have two things that are giving stat upgrades for us so if we get a th something that it requires uh popping the rock then we will give Dwayne his time joker card is actually very good for us i will take curse of the tower because i'm not a little wimp and i actually think curse of the tower can be pretty okay as well a lot of people are gonna be like tyler your highest cut curse of the tower is horrible uh, but I disagree with you, so suck it up, move on with your day. We will go back and find the shop, I think that's... Although we actually don't really have, uh, the money to do that. I do see another rock trinket that appears to be money, though. So maybe that'd be a good idea to take that. But we also only have one more floor of shops. I don't really think it's that beneficial for us to try to get more money or go to the shop uh on this floor we're reaching a point where it doesn't really matter at all so i am okay with this i would love to get that stone chest uh that is for damn certain and i will try to place down a bomb to reach it how about right there will that reach you it doesn't whatever uh fight the adversary the adversary is super annoying a deal with the devil would not be super annoying. It would actually be really nice. But, uh... Doesn't mean... We won't get one by popping the Joker if we don't get one here. So... If we don't get one, we will be popping the Joker. Although there is something to be said for saving it, but I also think that... It's in our best interest to try to utilize it as soon as we can to get the benefit. What do we get? Uh, this is a new item. GMO corn. HP up and I feel modified. What in the world? It... It just... It... What is it doing? It just gave me a lot of pills. At one time. Alright. We're gonna pop the Joker. It's gonna give us Eucharist. Uh, which I will take. And now gives me an 100% chance to deal with the Angel on every floor. Suppose this is just a deal with the angel run. It's also a weird run. Uh, I'm not going to deny that either. Our HP is not looking too, too pretty right now. We only got... Uh, well, we got six red hearts, but we only have two that are filled. But we do still have sacred mantle, so it's hard for me to be uh, scared at all. We did miss boss rush uh, by a significant amount of time, to be honest with you. I have no idea really how that happened. I don't remember spending and excess amount of time on any of the floors here but i suppose we did and that is uh quite okay devil's harvest it it's really good i'm excited to see if they implement everything as its own floor once the api gets better uh because then i'm going to be really interested for how they actually do that like is it just going to be random uh or is it going to be where there is a full path I'm a little bit scared right now. Uh, or is it a full path that you have to take in order to get to these certain places? I have no idea uh, what their plans are at all. Spider Bite. I mean, it's really good. We don't have a bomb. Uh, we have Holy Mantle, so never mind. Uh, just grab you and come on out. But I think this mod has huge potential, man. Obviously, you can see there's a lot of fun items uh, already in it. And... The artwork is also really good, so it's hard for me to say that, like, this will not, at some point, be on an anti-birth scale. I, I don't like comparing things to anti-birth, but I feel like sometimes you have to, to get the point across. We actually can't, uh, bomb stuff, because I don't have a bomb. Fun fact. Huh. Uh, I suppose just continue on. Take your penny. And move on. We don't really want Pandora's Box. Although Pandora's Box gives us an item on this floor, doesn't it? Or does it? Is Am I thinking wrong? I might be thinking wrong. Ow. 
whatever you do, uh, we can't really afford to take hits anymore. I played really dumb for a while and just felt like I was invincible because of Sacred Mantle. Uh, and invincible we are not. So just don't play stupid, Tyler. You're not going to lose this one if you just play it cool and collected and calm. Knowing my luck, I will probably get Godhead uh, on this run because we get infinite deals with the angel and just my luck will prevail even though my luck is usually very bad. But we will see. Uh, and hopefully that is the case. I would love to have some Godhead action on this one. Or Sacred Heart. We already got the slow tier thing going. Give me Sacred Heart and then give me Eve's Mascara and just watch as we never uh, hit anything ever again. Please kill this guy before he explodes because he is nasty. Wow, that was really lucky. Just as I say, I have no luck. Uh, the game decides to give me a Black Heart and a Spirit Heart simultaneously from fires. Pretty dope. Alright, is this Mom? Uh, this is Mom. Let's go fight Mom. Should not be that hard of a fight, honestly. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned about the womb. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. I'm excited for our deal here. It will be with the angel, but it's still a deal. And that is what makes it good. And we're probably like guaranteed an item at this point because of the revamps to angel deals in the last update booster pack. So I'm excited to see if we can get something that benefits us. I mean, honestly, like Crown of Light would be dope. Uh, there's a lot of good deal with the angel items. I would also love to just see new Devil's Harvest Angel Deal items, but those seem to probably be less likely than just getting a regular Isaac one. But it would be dope to get one. We need a Tears Up is what we need. Is there a Angel Deal that gives me a nice Tears Up? Because our tier stat is not great, and it's making it a lot harder to knock out people. Okay, come on, you are actually dead though. Thank you. Take the Polaroid. Come in here, get the freaking relic, which is so good, uh, and then continue on. Go down to the womb. This is going to be a longer episode. I have no idea why uh, it's taken so damn long. But we'll make it happen. I mean, we, we got all the time in the world. I don't. I'm supposed to be studying for an exam right now. I'm procrastinating heavily. Uh, but that doesn't affect your life whatsoever. You're just here to watch me play Isaac. I'm here to commentate it. You probably couldn't give two craps less whether or not I get a C, D, or F on my exam. Even though hopefully I'll get a A++. An A1. Steak sauce. Knock out this guy, please. Uh, seriously, though, pray for me on my exam. I need it. This whole floor... Our damage... We have an 11 for damage. That's really good, right? Why are we not killing anything quickly? Also, why am I taking so many hits, man? We got a random eternal heart to drop. I mean, I will take it and enjoy it, but I'm also kind of like, why? Alright. We did get a random soul heart, double soul heart to drop. And you will drop us a mimic, which then drops us Mr. Boom, which we will not be taking because we got a rock. And we want the rock because rock trinkets have their value. And there are some that require you to use the rock. I've picked up a couple before. There is one that basically acts as a D6. So it's a two charge D6 if you're holding the trinket, which is really powerful uh, and also just really good. And I would love to get that again, please. I'd ask, are we going to do hush on this one? Uh, but you're going to be lucky if we even make it to hush on this one. Because it's probably not going to happen. I hope so. Uh, it'd be fun. I mean, honestly, I don't hope so. Because that fight would be horrible. But, uh... I suppose we could try it. We got the keys for it. But just take it one floor at a time. F survive the womb one. Before moving on. Actually, like, hit this guy, though. Thank you. And now hit this guy. Thank you as well. Beautiful. We did... We already have this trinket. I don't know why he reappeared. Is it worth it to try to play this guy? 
Uh, no. I, I definitely remembered. It is not worth it to play that guy. Okay, I forgot about Curse of the Tower. Uh, everybody forgets about Curse of the Tower. Everybody has bad days. Everybody says things that don't mean. What are you? I'm excited? Yeah, I'm gonna pass, honestly. And you can also, uh, go screw off, and that would be phenomenal as well. Dingle's not hard, though. Uh, should be a cakewalk. I'm excited to actually get a boss item that hopefully gives us a stat upgrade. I'm excited for another... What is the game? <laughs> what the hell is the game? I want to know what the game is, though. Well, I'm sure we'll figure it out. Or we won't at all. Uh, probably that one, frankly. I would appreciate it if you guys died now. Cool, this is going swimmingly. Uh, Sister Viz are becoming like some of the easiest enemies to defeat. Which is funny because a lot of people thought they were the most unfair enemy in the game at the beginning of uh, Afterbirth Plus. And they were. I'm not going to deny it. That's a new mushroom. HP up, damage up, range down. I will take this 10 out of 10 times forever. And we get the void. I honestly don't think you take it. I think you stick with the rock. Uh, just because I don't know if voiding the rock is the best approach for us. So let's head down. Uh, I know that I lost a temperance card somewhere along the line. I don't really care. We've been carrying that temperance card for a good, like, 20 minutes. And it's just not really beneficial to our run. We look really weird. I'm going to try to reroll our uh, person a little bit. Sure. He's fat and he has blue eyes. He looks dope. That's exactly who I strive to be. A fat, blue-eyed person. Instead, I'm skinny and have brown eyes, so... What you gonna do, I suppose. Thank you for the flies, I appreciate it. I will spend one bomb to blow you up. Can you still use it afterward? Yeah, you can. That's actually probably a bug that should be fixed, but whatever. It is gone now. And I suppose we're going down since you uh, don't want me to go left, right, or up. Get through the here, please. Uh, please honestly reroll my run. At this point, I need it. Uh, and you didn't do it, so screw off, I hate you, but, uh, also, beggars can't be choosers? What are you, cyanide? Uh, this is the worst pill on the planet, so we're going to take a speed upgrade instead. And that's pretty good as this guy, because he started, started off with really low speed, uh, and we've brought it back now, and gotten some nice upgrades. I do know there's a way to go over the speed cap, uh, in this mod as well and that just sounds horrible because even like right now I'm a little bit fast for my liking so to go any faster I would feel a little bit not in control of my own body at that point which would I suppose be very fun so give me the opportunity I'd love it also allow me to defeat your brains all we want to do is eat your brains I'm at an impasse here. I mean, no one wants to eat your mind. Or eyes. Something like that? I don't remember. They probably do want to eat your mind if your mind is your brain. Is your mind your brain? Or is your mind, like, a subconscious part of your brain? Is this some, like, hippie stuff that I don't know about? Probably. Secret room. You want to get me missing? No? I'm looking for ways to reroll this run. It's really boring right now. Pills. Uh, I'm excited again. Ah, the good old crash the game pill. It's my favorite uh, pill in the game, honestly. Let's uh, restart this bad boy. The crash the game pill is clearly the highest caliber pill that you can take. I seem to remember that occurring another time too with the exact same colored pill. Isaac. The uh, yellow and white one. So maybe just don't take white and yellow pills. How does that sound? Well, we know we have to go down. Pardon me. Why? Why do you? Why you crash though? We're on crash number two. You know what they say. Crash number one. Shame on me. Crash number two. Shame on me. Crash number three. Shame on you. So if this crash is here, then we gotta call it an episode. And yeah, no, we're just crashing now. No idea what the issue is. Uh, it has to do with that pill for some reason. White and yellow pill. Don't really understand. 
Uh, but this runs over, I suppose. Sorry if you wanted to see me go further. Uh, it's actually impossible. So, that's good. Uh, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!